Welcome, welcome, you're at my corner. Are you ready for today? I've got a big list for me and you. There's lots to do. Quick, come on through. At Courtney Carrots Corner, at Courtney Carrots Corner, why don't you come and join us? At Courtney Carrots Corner. Hey, it's Courtney Carrots here and welcome back to my corner where we learn, explore and meet new friends. How is everyone today? Great! We are learning about something really, really cool today. Have you ever wondered where your favourite sea creatures live? Me too! And did you know that there are five different layers inside the ocean? What? That's a lot of different layers! The layers start from the top of the ocean surface, where the most sun is, and go to the deepest parts of the ocean, where there's no sunlight at all. Today, you and I are going to explore those layers. Let's start with layer number one, the sunlight zone. The sunlight zone got its name because of all the sunlight it has inside it for all of its beautiful creatures. If you've ever been to the beach and swam in the ocean, then guess what? You've been in the sunlight zone! But who lives in the sunlight zone? Well, most of the sea animals that we know and love live inside the sunlight zone because, like most creatures, they need sunlight to survive. Animals that live in the sunlight zone are sea turtles, dolphins, stingrays, tuna, sea lions and most other common fish. The sunlight in this zone creates something called photosynthesis which helps seaweed and other underwater plants to grow which helps feed all of the animals there. How cool is that? What's underneath this layer? Well that's the twilight zone. Sun still seeps through to this layer so that animals can still see and a couple plants grow but not too many. So some of the sea animals that live here swim up to the sunlight layer to hunt or to find some food. The animals that live in this layer are whales, swordfish, shrimp, jellyfish, and last but definitely not least, the hatchetfish. The hatchetfish is famous for its reflective and shiny silver scales. Ooh. This next layer goes by two common names, and you might know this one from the show, Octonauts. The midnight zone, or also known as the dark zone, has no sunlight in it at all, which means the animals that live in this layer rely heavily on their sense of movement, sound, and smell to hunt and find prey. Pretty cool. The animals that live in here are the tripod fish, who never grows to longer than a 30 centimeter ruler, the giant squid, whoa! And you might have seen this one from Finding Nemo, the anglerfish. Let's take a quick look. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna, swim with you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna be your best friend. Good feelings gone. You thought that layer was deep? Well, it gets way deeper. This is where we go to the abyss. The abyss still has no light in it, but it drops down even further than the midnight zone. So we see a lot more glowing fish. Wow. The abyss is home to many sea cucumbers and sea spiders. The abyss has so much water on top of it that the pressure from all of this weight starts to shape some of the sea animals that live inside it. This is where we meet the blobfish. This is the blobfish when it's underwater. And then you take him out from underwater and bloop, he turns into a blob. <laughs> That's where he gets his name from. And finally, let's jump into our last layer, the trenches. The trenches go even further down. The trenches aren't everywhere in the ocean. Some ocean floors only go up to the midnight zone and not even to the abyss. But the trenches do exist and they go deeper than the midnight zone and deeper than the abyss. And then we find the deep, rare, dark trenches. Our tallest mountain in the world could fit upside down inside the trenches and still have heaps of room to spare. That's crazy! It's insane to think that any animals live here at all, but they do. Humans haven't been able to thoroughly explore the trenches very well because we actually can't get down there because the pressure from the water is too high. But some of the animals that we do know live in the trenches are the ghost fish, known for its translucent, 
white appearance, the shark, the vampire shark, which is also very pale from the lack of sunlight, and giant toxic amoebas. Whoa. Guys, we did it. We explored all five layers of the ocean, right from the sunlight zone all the way down to the trenches. Whoa. But how much did you remember? We're going to play a little game to find out. All right. So I need you to take a deep breath and think about all of the animals we've spoken about so far. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna name an animal and you're gonna tell me what layer it lives in. So remember, I have the sunlight zone, the twilight zone, the midnight zone, also known as the dark zone, the abyss, and of course, the trenches. So the first animal that I'm thinking about is a sea turtle. Now a sea turtle needs plant-based foods to eat. Which area would have the most plant-based foods? Plants need sunlight to grow. So which layer has the most sunlight? Hmm? Of course, the sunlight layer. Good job. I'm gonna make it a bit trickier now. Where does the swordfish live? The swordfish lives in the twilight zone, everyone. All right, let's see, what about the anglerfish? The anglerfish has a tiny little light on its head, so where would it need a tiny little light for? Somewhere with no light. Hmm, the sunlight zone definitely has light. The twilight zone still has about 30% light, so the animals can still see, so they wouldn't need a light on their head. Hmm, the midnight zone is really dark. I remember now, he lives in the midnight zone. Good job. Hmm, let's just do one more. Where does the blobfish live? <laughs> the blobfish. The blobfish lives in the abyss, guys. Remember, because of all the pressure that has on top of it, he turns into a blob when he comes out of the water. <laughs> all right, guys, that was super, super fun. And I'm so glad you came with me to learn about the ocean today. I want you to keep an eye out on Courtney Carrot's Corner for more ocean learning fun that's coming so soon. Thank you for learning with me today, guys, and I'll see you, see you. Bye! <laughs>